What excites me most about the brain science is the opportunity to try to understand what makes us uh, uniquely human, what drives our behaviors, how we respond to others. Uh, of all of the objects that we know in the universe, probably the most complex is the human brain, and yet each one of us uh, is privileged to have one of those organs, and therefore the big challenge is to understand how, how it works. The field of neuroscience is fantastic. And the field of substance abuse in particular is a unique one because it allows you uh, through a model via in the animal model the use of a drug that specifically changes the way that the brain functions on areas involved with motivation, drive, self-control. And in the humans you have the opportunity to understand how exposure to drugs can ulti ultimately affect the basis of what we call control and self-regulation and, and free will. And, and, and that's what's so extraordinarily exciting because what we, what we do, a lot of the things that we do require the motivation and the drive to do them. And that is a circuit that is fundamental for the process of drug addiction. So the insights that we get by studying drugs of abuse or by investigating patients who have unfortunately become addicted to drugs, we are gaining an understanding of basic functions of what makes you uniquely human beings. Brain science has told us an enormous amount. To start with, we now understand why certain drugs and not others, for example, can produce addiction. And that relates to their ability to directly or indirectly activate reward centers that are modulated, among others, by dopamine. But we've also started to understand what are the changes in the brain associated with repeated drug use that ultimately lose, lead to the loss of self-control and the compulsive intake that characterizes addiction. And what's interesting is in the process of understanding what are the circuits involved with the loss of control in addiction, we've also started to understand what is the neurobiology underlying not just self-control, but in the process, the concept of free will. The ability to want to do something and be able to carry it through, or the ability to stop something and be able to inhibit. NIDA's uh, neuroscience priorities are very ambitious. Number one, to develop the science that will allow us to better understand uh, the mechanisms that lead to vulnerability for drug experimentation and ultimately for the transition from experimentation to addiction such that we can develop better prevention strategies. The other one relates also to the knowledge that will allow us to understand what are the genetic, epigenetic, molecular, circuitry, and social level constructs that drives the transition from drug intake that is control to drug intake that is automatic and compulsive in addiction such that we can develop better treatments. And that entails both behavioral interventions that can help remediate some of the changes produced by drugs, but also medications that will also help us accelerate the recovery of the brain so that it can go back to its state where it can regulate and control the desire to take drugs.